the French team, the team that uh, races without the crutches. And the first time we see the rampant door, and it's such a good, clever, and important addition to the Cyberthon Challenge. Yes, for sure. This is something that we encounter very much in daily life, and it really needs the work also of the arms um, to be able to do this kind of task. So it's important that they have their hands free, as, as you see here with the Wondercraft team. Uh, his hands are completely free. He's not using any crutches um, because this exoskeleton in particular has some capability to self-balance itself. Um, so he's using his hand on the uh, guardrail there, but no crutches as compared to the other teams. And this is uh, quite unique, this development of the uh, Wondercraft. Yes, it's very cool to see um, one of these exoskeletons without crutches because one of the needs from a lot of these patients is to be able to have their hands free to interact with objects in daily life. Counteract whatever the, the pilot is. How heavy is it? Uh, for, for this one, I'm not entirely sure. I think it was something around 60 kilograms. So, so it's rather on the heavy side compared to the other devices. Um, but the good thing is, so since the pilot is completely carried, so there's no load on the upper body. So the weight of the whole device will not be transferred to the upper body. So I guess in that um, context... That Duarte, our two experts, uh, it's really impressive. But there are also big differences between the teams. Yeah, they are. Um, I think we have seen it. The one team, they didn't have crutches, whereas uh, all the other teams had crutches. Um, and I think this is very important to point out because it is very, very hard to have such a device working without crutches. We have a look now at the pictures. We can see him uh, walking without the crutches, the French guy. Can you tell us more? How, how does it work? So this device is a bit more complicated than the other ones, so it has more motors. It's a bit heavier as well. And uh, you can see that even though the pilot is leaning forward, the device remains stable. And that is key. So the, the whole device is designed in a way that even if you move your upper body too much up front, for example, it remains stable, so it doesn't tilt forward. And also for walking, you see it now. Um, it, it looks, when, when the step is done, quite smooth. Um, so this is also done because, again, it has more motors, also in the ankle joint, knee joint, also in different directions there. Jaime, is this the future of the exoskeleton without crutches? For sure, it's one of the requirements that um, the users would like to have um, because a lot of them complain that if they have their hands full, they're not able to interact with objects in daily life.